Hello everyone! In this video, I want to talk about a common issue you may experience when you run MRP MPS for in Dynamics 365 Business Central. For example, I have an item which is a finished good item you can see on the screen. And this item is with the replenishment system production order. If we open the item card, you can see for this finished good item, we, it, the manufacturing policy is make to stock and we have the production bomb routing defined on item card. And also we set up the planning parameters, which is using the reordering policy lot for lot. And we set up some minimum order quantity, maximum order quantity and order multiple. And so we have those all set up. However, for the quantity on the order, then you don't see any quantity on any demand orders. You only see quantity on production orders. So if you run your planning worksheet, because there's no demand, then uh, there will be nothing populated for this item. And the uh, quantity on production order, because this is a finished good, it's only driving the demand for the raw materials for uh, to produce this finished good item. But you don't have any sales demand and you don't have any other demand on service order, job order as well. So some organizations want to use the demand forecast to simulate the demand and then to generate a demand for the simulated demand for the finished good item and calculate in the planning worksheet to see how much uh, to see what supply orders need to be generated in order to meet that demand. So let's go to our let's first copy our item number because we're going to use this to filter on our demand forecast. So let's go to our demand forecast and then to enter some demand. I have a demand forecast created for the year 2022. And then we're going to edit the demand forecast and filter the item number by uh, this item number. And uh, on the top, you can see I have the view by day, but I can change it to view by month. And for the forecast type, I can, because this is a finished good item, so I'm going to select the sales item. Otherwise, if this finished good item is used on another pr production bomb, then you may select component and select because the component is related as well. Then you may select both to include sales item and component. But because this item is not used on any production bomb, it's only when you have a sales order, you produce this item, put it into stock. Then uh, when you have a sales order, then you sell this item. So I'm going to select the sales item. So I entered some demand for March, April, May, June. So you can see uh, this demand has already been uh, entered. So in theory, when I run the planning worksheet for this item, so I'm just going to go to the planning worksheet and to uh, generate regenerative plan for this item. So when we calculate the regenerative plan, and that's just a filter by this specific item, this item here, and on the top, so uh, we just select MPS but that, because this is coming from the uh, independent demands uh, from the sales demand. So even it's coming from my forecast. And then I'm going to select the starting date, which is today's date, ending date. I just put it to June the 30th, 2022. And then let's select use this demand. Okay. And uh, we don't want to include any demand forecast before uh, before April the 30th, 2022. Because our uh, demand forecast start from, uh, we want to include anything from um, May. Because when we filter the demand forecast, we are filtering by months. And um, you can see whatever we enter for uh, for May, it's uh, that demand comes from May the 1st. So that's why we just uh, exclude any demand before that. Okay, so but we want to use that demand for May. And let's click on OK. The result is nothing. The reason that for some clients and they're trying to figure out why why there's nothing come out. So there could be possible or uh, different reasons. First, you check on the item card. If you set it up, because on this item, I did not have the stock keeping unit created. You could see stock keeping unit exists as no, right? So if you do have stock keeping unit created, then you have to make sure you set up the planning parameters on the 
on the stock keeping unit, not on the item card. Because once you have the stock keeping unit created, then when you run the planning worksheet, it's looking at the planning parameters on the stock keeping unit card. That's one of the reasons. And uh, another reason, just make sure all your setup is complete. So the most common reason some uh, clients, they did not set up the system properly. And for example, in the manufacturing setup, under the planning fast tab, you didn't set up current demand forecast and you didn't set up use forecast on location. This was turned off, right? If you turn this off, then nothing will be generated. So we have to turn this on, use forecast on location, because we want to uh, consider the demand forecast. So you need to make sure you uh, turn on use forecast on locations. Uh, you can ignore current demand forecast, even if you didn't enter you, uh, current demand forecast in the manufacturing setup. But when you run, uh, when you go back to the planning worksheet and when you calculate plan, if you specify use forecast, it will still generate the line. So the key is like you have to turn on use forecast on location in the manufacturing setup. Now let's go back to our planning worksheet and then calculate the plan again. This time just to make sure we remove the filter for this item because we have an item filter here. Okay, so let's remove this because I only set up the planning parameters on this finished good item and that raw material. When we leave this to be wide open, then we should generate the lines for the raw material one because we didn't set up any planning parameters for RM2 yet. Okay, let's click on this OK and calculate again. Okay, you do see like uh, we calculated the uh, material requirements for RM01 and uh, it's as expected because we need one uh, RM01 for one FG02. So that's why for the for this uh, demand from the 500, we generate 500 for RM01. For the demand of the 600, we generate a re uh, demand for this ARM01 for 600. And that's for that the system asking you have to create a purchase orders for the raw materials. That's as what we expected. If when you calculate the regenerative plan, sometimes they didn't have any results, then you have to check from different uh, perspective aspects. So it could be you didn't set up any planning parameters yet, or it could be the stock keeping unit exists, but you only set up the planning parameters on the item card, you didn't set it up on the stock keeping unit card. Or it could be if it's a finished good item and you use the uh, demand forecast, you didn't set it up the use forecast at location in the manufacturing setup. That could be the reason why there's nothing, there's no planning lines generated when you calculate the regenerative plan. Okay, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time. Thank you for watching this Archer Point video. Stay in the know with the latest on Microsoft Dynamics by subscribing to our channel. You can also learn more from our blog at archerpoint.com or email info at archerpoint.com to contact us. See you in the next video.